when you are implementing ai in your business or company there are two core components first the ai model secondly your own custom data your custom data comes into various formats in this video i am going to introduce you to a tool which can convert your custom data which is present on your companies or your own personal websites into llm ready data or data sets this tool doesn't require any technical knowledge of ai or machine learning it is just point and click this tool which is called as firecrawl it is an advanced web crawling and data conversion tool designed to transform any website into clean llm ready markdown data set it is really good for ai developers and data scientists who are looking to build ai application on any company's website it automates a collection cleaning and formatting of web data streamlining the preparation progress for llms applications unlike traditional web scrapers firecrawl is equipped to handle dynamic content rendered with javascript it ensures comprehensive data collection from all accessible subpages making it a reliable tool for scraping websites that rely heavily on javascript for content delivery also it doesn't crawl everything out there blindly it is quite intelligent it may not be able to crawl all the pages of a website because sometimes there is rate limiting sometimes there is anti scraping mechanism sometimes there is um disallowing the crawler from accessing certain pages so there could be a lot of things there but all in all if there are no hindrances then it works pretty fine another cool thing about it is that it can work without a site map so firecrawl can access and crawl all accessible sub pages of a website even in the absence of a site map this feature enables users to gather data from a wide array of web sources with minimal setup also web crawl uh, firecrawl sorry specializes in converting web data into clean well formatted markdown and this format is quite good for llm application because it offers a structured yet flexible way to represent a web data there is also one good feature about firecrawl is that it ensures a cleanliness of the data because firecrawl employs advanced algorithms to clean and structure the scraped data it removes unnecessary elements and formats the content into readable markdown this process ensures that the data is ready for use in llm applications without further pre processing if you are looking for large scale data scraping project on your website then firecrawl is a good tool it offers various pricing plans and i will also show you the pricing plans shortly there you go so you can go and check their pricing plans as you can see with the biggest plan which is around 1250 dollar per month you get 2.5 million credits which is and with that you can i guess scrape 2.5 million uh, million uh, pages which is quite huge and this credit is valid for 6 months and you can run 10 simultaneous scrapes i think this is quite huge anyway in order to use it first you need to sign up with your account um email account and then login once you log in you'll be presented with this screen you can also use api and the good thing is that you get 100 free credits and then this is a playground where you can play around with your data let me make it bit more bigger so there you so you can see on the left hand side you give the url of your website which you want to scroll you can even uh, select only single url instead of the full website and then you can exclude some of the paths by just saying blocks uh, you know there will be websites this will be in the crawl because it has a multi one or you can just simply include these pages you can limit it to few of the pages and this is where you can do it in the console in the gui but if you want to use your code then you can use this code on the right hand side in python and i already showed you that you would need the api key just like this one and then you just embed your api key in the authorization you can use a python code or you can use node code or you can use a simple curl command with the http methods this is for scraping this is for crawling 
this is for crawl status and the, you can also use your webhooks how good is that okay now let me give you an example i'll be using my own website and we will be scrapping only single page just to show you the demo so let me quickly show you my website so this is my personal website fahadmirza.com and on this one i wrote this blog post around oracle's blockchain last month in march so let's grab the url of this page and then we grab it and then we will go back to this fire crawl playground let me put it here maybe i'll just first select single url and then let's run it wait for it to come back you can notice the speed too there you go so it has um, already you know provided us a markdown and the good thing is that json response is already there so this is a url and then you can see that it has divided it uh, just like the markdown format amazing stuff this is all markdown if i want to see the json response there you go so this is our json response this is our content markdown metadata and then uh, there is also a sitemap so all the metadata is also there which you can use in your rag or in your vector database and then simply you can um, get this clean data out of your website maybe you can chunk it then you can vectorize it store it in your vector database and when during your rag pipeline you can augment your uh, prompt with this data so i think it with all those python code available and those uh, curl command available it should be a straightforward way to embed this fire crawl in your rag pipeline and i think that would be the best use case for this fire crawl or any such tool because uh, whenever you are dealing with website data you would have to do a lot of pre-processing of data and that is where this tool is shining in my humble opinion and lastly one issue which i have encountered sometimes when there are custom jobs to pre-process the website data is sometimes you have to deal with reverse proxies sometimes you have to deal with rate limits throttling caching firecrawl claims that it is built to navigate common web scraping challenges all of these challenges like reverse proxies rate limiting throttling caching it smartly manages requests and employs caching techniques to minimize bandwidth usage and it also avoids triggering anti-scraping mechanism ensuring reliable data collection so that's it guys i think this is really good i will drop the link to it in video description try it out let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching